What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over how to find keyword gaps on your own website. So this is going to be an SEO keyword research video. We're going to be using Google Search Console and the Google Keyword Planner in this video. And then what we're going to be trying to do is come up with a list that looks like this where we can compare the existing keywords we already rank for with some other keywords that we may not be ranking for yet. So basically we're going to pull keyword research for a specific term and then we are going to pull the existing keywords that we're already ranking for based on the data we have in Google Search Console. Then we're going to figure out, is this keyword ranking for beachfrontdecor.com, my website that is all about beach decor. So let's get started and let's come over here in the Google Search Console first. So the very first thing that I would recommend doing is you want to find some type of category on your website where you are trying to improve your rankings. For my example, I'm going to be using the keyword beach bedding. So beach bedding here, you can see if we just search it in Google, it's showing in Google through the keyword surfer plugin that the estimated monthly search volume for this keyword is 2,400 monthly searches. So if I scroll down here and you look at my search performance for this specific search term over the last 28 days, over a thousand impressions, seven clicks. So we're doing decent as far as impressions. We're not doing great as far as clicks. You can see we have some little growth there and our average position is 11.9. So if I just search beach bedding and I start scrolling down, this is truly the position I want. So I could potentially get up into this position because this is a competitor of mine. But as we scroll down here, you're going to see some very, very large websites. And then we come right down here to beachfront decor. So this is my beach bedding page. So coming over to my website, I have 802 different product categories on my website. One of the main categories I have is beach bedding. So let's find our beach bedding category. And we'll see starting right here with our parent category, beach bedding sets and coastal bedding sets. And these are all of the different subcategories I have within this one parent category. So comforters, quilts, different beach styles, shark, mermaid. So basically anything related to the beach, I'm trying to target some of these different keywords. And I really want to improve my targeting for beach bedding. So what I'm trying to do is find more subcategories and find more beach bedding related keywords really bedding related keywords so that I can increase my rankings for beach bedding, nautical bedding, and coastal bedding. Those main three keywords. So where we're going to start here for this video is we are going to go to the Google Search Console. And you can use other keyword research tools for this video, whether you want to pull the existing keywords you're already ranking for, or you want to use keyword research tools to find new keywords for your website. So feel free to use SEMrush, feel free to use Ahrefs, you could use Ubersuggest, you could use AnswerThePublic.com, you can use a, or you can even use a free keyword research tool like KeywordTools.org where I just enter beach bedding, they give me over a thousand different keywords, and I can do five requests per day. So there's a bunch of different keyword research tools you can try. Key, Google Search Console, I would recommend using for the keywords you're already ranking for, but again, you can use some of those paid tools as well. And what we're going to do is we're just going to click on new up here. You can use any time period that you want. You could also do a long period of dates or a short period of dates and then combine multiple keyword lists. I'm going to keep this simple. We're going to do last three months. We're going to say the query must contain bedding. So when I do that and click on apply for my website, beachfronttocore.com, it's going to give me a thousand different keywords that I'm ranking for. So keywords that contain bedding right now, I'm getting 116,000 total impressions over a three month period. 878 total clicks. What we want to do obviously is grow our clicks and impressions for bedding keywords. It's a very, very popular search term in terms of home decor and beach bedding and things like that. So if we're looking at my top search terms right here, you can see I'm doing pretty well for some of these different short tail keywords, decent amount of impressions and clicks based on overall search volume. What we want to do is I generally just go by total impressions. We could scroll down here and you can see I have one of 10 of 1000 keywords. So the very first thing we want to do is enter that search term here, basically what types of keywords we're looking for. So in my case, I could use things like bedding, area rugs, furniture. I could use specific types of furniture. I could do things like decor ideas or just keywords that contain decor and try to find different ways to target keywords that I'm not ranking for already by combining this information with new keyword research. So let's export this list. And the very first thing we want to do is download this as a CSV file or an Excel file or a Google Sheets file, depending on how you want to actually work on this information. So I've downloaded all this information already, and I already have my spreadsheet here. And you can see these are my Google Search Console keywords. So I'm going to show you exactly how I created this spreadsheet. Basically, when you first do your export here, I would generally do a download CSV file 
all I do is copy and paste that list of 1000 keywords directly in here in column C. So as we scroll down here, column C is going to go all the way down to 1001. So you can see 1001. So we have 1000 total keywords and then we have a heading at the very top. So that's the first step that you want to do is what keywords are you already ranking for? And again, you can use other tools. You don't just have to use Google Search Console. Feel free to bring in more tools and more data. You can combine multiple lists. And then what you could always do is remove duplicates. So just take all this information, go to data over here. And in data, one of the options is remove duplicates. So if we remove duplicates, that will get rid of any double keywords that we have here. The other thing is the way that we actually set up this formula here, and I will give you this entire spreadsheet so you can just basically copy and paste your own information here and then figure out if the keyword is ranking for your website. So the way I do it here, you don't even have to remove duplicates. You just have to make sure that it's looking at all of the data within the spreadsheet. So here's what we're going to do next is we're going to come back over here and we're going to go to the Google Keyword Planner. And what we're going to do is discover new keywords and generally what I'll do, and this is why I like using the keyword planner and Google search console together for this is we'll go over to the search console and we will just go by impressions or you could use clicks and enter some of our top search terms here. Now, the ones that I'm not going to be entering right now are boho betting and bohemian betting because those ones I get a good amount of impressions and clicks for, but I want to do those completely separate. And I want this to be really geared towards nautical, tropical, beach, coastal betting. So what I'll do is I'll take these top search terms and put them all directly up here in the keyword planner. So let's we'll start with nautical betting. We'll do coastal betting. And I'll kind of fast forward to this part a little bit, but we'll do 10 keywords here. Okay, so I entered my first 10 keywords here and they match the top 10 keywords here by impressions. And I'm really focusing on keywords that are related to beach, coastal, nautical. So that would also include things like mermaid, shark, palm tree, anchor. So I'm entering all these different keywords, but things like boho, bohemian, I will be skipping for right now. So let's come back up here. We have our top 10 keywords to get started and we're going to click on get results. So one of the reasons why I like using the keyword planner for this is I enter 10 keywords. They give me 3,200 keyword ideas. Now I'm focused on betting keywords. So I need to make sure that betting is in the keyword text. So we're going to start with a filter and do keyword text contains, and we're just going to put betting here and click on apply. Okay. So we have a, our list of keywords started here. The other thing I'm going to do is make sure that average monthly searches are 20 or greater. You don't necessarily need to do this, but I just want to kind of get rid of some of the search terms they are going to give me where the average monthly search is maybe zero or 10. Just start with 20 or greater and click on apply. We'll see where that gets us as far as keywords. Remember that we have a thousand keywords that we exported from Google search console. So right now this is saying there are 398 betting keywords right here. So what we want to do is select all of these keywords. Then you'll see a hundred selected. We want to select all 398. We want to save these keywords and add keywords to create our plan. So what that's going to do is start putting all these keywords within our saved keywords and you can find them in your keyword plan as well. But at the very end, what we can do is export this data. Now I don't want to export it right now, but you'll see there's a ton of different keywords here and plenty of things that I'm probably not ranking for already. So let's come back over here to our keyword ideas and let's enter some more search terms up here, just simply using all of this right here. The other thing that you can do to kind of take this a step further. So I've already done this in a notepad file. Okay. So for my particular website, I generally target things related to coastal, nautical, tropical beach. So basically all of those are just keywords that I'm trying to target. And within those, there's different types of nautical and beach elements, ship wheels, anchors, lighthouses, pirates, sailboats, compass, rope, Within tropical, we have tropical, palm tree, Hawaiian, hibiscus. So there's some more that I could probably add to this list as well. And then beach and coastal, seashell, starfish, pineapple, mermaid. Basically what we're looking for are different ways we can subcategorize our bedding keywords that we're already targeting. When I just enter beach bedding, coastal bedding, tropical bedding, it may not get all of these different keywords that are also very relevant. So when I'm searching nautical bedding in something like Amazon or Google specifically for products, it's going to feature bedding with these types of elements on them as, as well as some different colors, some different sizes. So all of those things are what you want to enter into the keyword planner to get the most possible keywords that you can target. So in addition to the keywords you're already ranking for, you should have a list aside of here are some ways I can subcategorize this 
keyword that I'm trying to target much better. As far as bedding, there's different types of bedding, there's different sizes of bedding, and then there's these different elements and colors. So I can use all of that with the keyword planner. The more you enter into the keyword planner, the better output you're ultimately going to get. So let's enter some more keywords here. And what I can do in this one is rather than taking my top ones from Google Search Console, which I would recommend just keep doing, and I will do this again, but rather than taking my top ones from Google Search Console, let's just come over here and let's just target some of these different keywords related to beach and coastal bedding themes so that we can kind of build out all these different elements that we're trying to target as well. So let's scroll down here. Okay, and we'll just start from the bottom. So we're going to say turtle bedding, we're going to say shark bedding. So we know we're already ranking for some of these. I actually already entered shark bedding, so we don't need to do that. We'll do seashell bedding, we'll kind of fast forward through this a bit. Okay, so we enter all these keywords now, turtle bedding, seashell bedding, fish, pineapple, sunset, sand dollar, starfish. So basically just different elements, things you would find in the ocean or at the beach. Click on get results. This is going to give us even more keywords, 143 keywords. There may be some duplicates from our last search. There probably is. So, but what we can do here is we already have our filter set up. So the keyword text contains bedding and our other filter is that average monthly searches is greater than or equal to 20. So we'll select all of these keywords again, make sure we select all of them, add them to our saved keywords and add these keywords to our plan. So now if we come over again to our saved keywords, we can see here if we come over and we'll select it, it's saying we have 490 total keywords here now. So what you wanna keep doing is continue doing these searches. So what we're trying to do is just create the largest possible keyword list we can so that we can find which keywords have actual matches to the keywords we're already ranking for. Then what we can do is take average monthly search volume that we're getting from these keywords in the Google Keyword Planner and kind of rank them by, okay, these are the ones that we should probably start targeting. So now let's go down the list again. I'm gonna add more keywords here. We're gonna do this one last time and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so we entered our 10 keywords again here. We're gonna click on get results. This will give us more keywords again. So it's saying some keywords were removed, won't be used for keyword ideas. Okay, that's fine. So what we'll do is we will come up here. This gives us 64 total keywords. So we'll take these, take the saved keywords, add these keywords to our plan. So at this point, what I would keep doing is continue doing searches in here. Again, you can also use some of the other keyword tools available to you to try to figure out other keywords that you can start to target. Now what we're going to do is go over to our keyword plan and we are going to export this as well. So we're gonna export this. We'll see how many keywords we have total here. 535 keywords. So we're gonna export this into a CSV file. So generally what I do is this. So basically what we're looking for is we want column A and then we want column D where we have average monthly search volume here. It's showing our average total monthly search volume of these keywords that we're researching is 56,000 total searches. So obviously we wanna tap into some of that search volume and get more clicks to our website for betting related keywords. Delete these first two columns here. So we're just gonna delete them and then all I'll do is come right up to the top, delete all of this here, and we're just going to copy our column A and column B. Okay, so we're gonna take all these keywords, we're gonna copy them, and then we're gonna come back over to our other spreadsheet, and we're just going to paste them right here. So we want our Google Keyword Planner keyword research and our search volume for those keywords, and then we already have our Google Search Console keywords here, so let's paste that here. Now next is going to be, we're basically, the formula that we're, we're using is whether or not, if we click on our formula, whether or not this keyword is in this entire list. So it's searching the entire list from Google Search Console. This is why you can create an even larger keyword list here and an even larger keyword list on the left-hand side. Just use as many sources that you possibly can because all we're trying to do is find a list of new keywords that we can target so we can tap into some of that search volume. So it's basically saying, is this keyword ranking for beachfrontdecor.com based on our Google Search Console keywords? Now there is a chance that it is already ranking and it's not in this list of Google Search Console keywords which gets shut off at 1,000 total keywords. That's where you could come back to Google Search Console, take the last three months of data, take the last 28 days of data, take the last seven days of data, export all of this information because what you're going to get is when you're using these search terms, we'll scroll to the bottom here, I still have a thousand total keywords here based on the last 28 days. Let's just take the last seven days here, click on apply. You could also go all the way out to the last 16 months. So this gives us 713 total keywords over a seven day period. We could also say, give us the last 16 months, look by total impressions and download that keyword list as well. 
And all you need to do is in this specific Excel workbook that we're using, keep pasting them at the very bottom here. Then when you update your actual formula here, just make sure, because this one goes down to C1002. So it's going all the way until this field that is empty. All you need to do is just expand this and say, okay, we have 2000 total keywords. We got to make sure we're searching through all 2000 keywords. And it's going to just keep looking for matches on this left-hand side. Obviously, we don't have as many keywords on the left-hand side. So eventually, these are all going to show false. Not a big deal. I'll show you how we can look up the keywords that we actually matched. So let's make sure we have all of our keywords here properly. Let's come over to our Excel worksheet. Okay, so we scroll all the way to the top here. And what you can do is generally, the way I'll start is I'll just get rid of this heading. I don't really need the heading anymore. And then what you can do is just come over here to column D. We're going to go Z to A. We're going to expand the selection and click on sort. This is basically going to give us every keyword that is already matching here. So if we're looking at this and we see true right here, we click over here, it's searching coral bedding. Are we already ranking for the keyword coral bedding in our list of our Google Search Console keywords? The answer is true, so all these keywords are showing true. So what you wanna do is get until you find false. So we have false starting right here, and we can literally just get rid of all of these different keywords up here at the top. So we're just gonna come over here at the top, get rid of all of these true keywords. We're already ranking for these true keywords, we don't need to target them. So now we can do is delete all of these rows, okay? And now all of these keywords that are on the left-hand side, we're not ranking for yet. So we wanna scroll down here until we run out of keywords on the left-hand side. So this has gave us a total of 227 keywords that we're not ranking for yet, according to our Google Search Console data. So if we come down here, we can get rid of all of these other keywords. So this is a quick and easy way to build a keyword list based on a specific subcategory of your website. So it's really useful when you're saying, okay, today I'm gonna to be working on this category of my website. If you have a home decor website, it may be something like betting. If you have a marketing website, it may be SEO. Use this and say, okay, I wanna target every single keyword on my website that has SEO in it or search engine optimization in it. And what you're gonna to try to do is just find new keywords you're not ranking for yet. And then all we can do now is we can just come over here, delete these two columns, we don't need them anymore. Come to column B, we're in data, we're gonna go Z to A, expand the selection. And now this is showing us, these are some different keywords that we can start to target that we're not ranking for yet. And basically they all have search volume here. There's going to be plenty of things that aren't overly relevant to our website. So I have some things like Ninja Turtle Bedding, I'm not gonna target that keyword. So as you go through here, just pull away some of these different keywords. But even if we're looking really quickly, so I can target turtle bedding, sea turtle, probably gonna be the same exact page targeting these keywords. But if we're just looking even at just turtle bedding set, 320 searches, 260 searches, turtle bedding set here, 110 searches. Now if I'm targeting turtle bedding, turtle comforters, turtle, turtle quilts, all these different keywords, I'm gonna tap into thousands of average monthly searches, and hopefully we can get on the first page of Google for these keywords, since we're already ranking pretty well for betting in general. And then over time, hopefully these keywords help us rank even higher for the keyword beach betting, and we can drive more and more clicks to our website. So coming back over here to Microsoft Excel, all we need to do now is take all of this data we have and start creating some new product categories, start creating some new relevant blog content that can be useful depending on some of these keywords that we're not ranking for that well yet. And we can start tapping into the search volume and getting more traffic back to our website. So just a quick, fun SEO keyword lesson where you can find keyword gaps within your own website for keywords you're not already ranking for. According to your Google Search Console data, you can make this much stronger by using other keyword research tools like I talked about, and also by using more data from Google Search Console and doing more searches in Google Keyword Planner. You could literally create a list like this and come up with thousands upon thousands of new keywords, thousands of keywords you're already ranking for, search through the keywords you're already ranking for, try to find some new keywords you're not ranking for yet that are very relevant to the keywords you are already ranking for, and all this monthly search volume here, even if we just say, okay, let's look at the top 50 keywords. So we're gonna insert this here and we'll just sum up we're looking at 4,000 average monthly searches just using those top 50 keywords. So basically what I'm gonna do now is go through this list, pull out the keywords that can be used as new product categories on my website. So coming back over to beachfrontcore.com, I can start adding some new product categories here, starting with turtle bedding. 
But as we come down and we're looking at these new search terms, even things that I'm already targeting. So for example, Hawaiian betting sets, Hawaii betting sets. This is just maybe I need to make sure that I'm targeting this keyword a little better on my existing page for Hawaiian betting sets. Ocean blue betting, another thing I can target. Sunset betting, another thing I can target. So these are all really good keywords that I can start to target. And there's going to be plenty of things here that I'm not going to target. But lighthouse betting sets, ocean theme betting set, sea turtle crib betting. Even if I could just add a couple of products in a product category, this taps into more average monthly searches. It will help me rank for more keywords. And ultimately, it will help us increase our overall search engine traffic specifically for certain search terms we're trying to optimize for. So if you have any questions about this, please leave in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.